Hi, I'm Peter Knox. I design fly rods for sage, and I'm here in the UK on the river test fishing for trout. Uh, I'd like to show you some of our new uh, materials and technology that we're putting into sage rods. We have a brand new technology called R8 technology. And R8 technology really borrows performance from some exclusive fibers that we have uh, have access to and have started to put into our rods over the last couple of years. Uh, these fibers, there are two of them, are the building blocks for what goes into a fly rod blank. Here are some examples. This is a, a toe of graphite fibers. Um, there are about a thousand of them here in my hand, but we pack uh, nearly a million fibers into each rod blank by the time you get down to the butt section. With our new R8 technology, we have a couple of new fibers uh, that we're putting into our rods that lend a level of strength and durability to um, high modulus performance. Uh, when you talk about materials and composite materials that go into fly rods, it's really uncommon to uh, find a material that is both high strength and high stiffness or high modulus. Oftentimes you're trading off one for the other. And that's uh, pretty common. And in fact, something that we do to some extent, uh, you think about a tip section. A tip section has to bend deeply. It has to um, survive, a, you know, a some small strikes, that kind of thing. Um, so we use really strong and durable materials in a tip section. You look at a butt section, uh, the flip side is true. It doesn't need to go through such a large bend, so we can use stiffer fibers, higher modulus fibers, uh, and that sort of thing to create a really lightweight and responsive part low down in the rod. So these new fibers that we have, um, there are two of them, and uh, the first uh, runs down the length of the rod, so it goes in what we call uh, the axial direction. And these particular new fibers uh, have a micro surface. They've been treated so that uh, they bond really well to resin. If you think about uh, painting anything, painting your boat or gluing anything, you typically um, want to rough up that surface like with sandpaper. And the same goes for these fibers on a microscopic level. Um, they're, they're prepared so they tie into the resin on a molecular level really well. It leads to a really strong blank and something that we can use in design to either uh, make a rod stronger or make the rod uh, lighter and more responsive. The other fiber that's in these rods is uh, a new hoot fiber. Hoot fiber runs at 90 degrees to the axis of the rod and it provides strength as you bend the rod. If you think about uh, a rod bending and you look at the cross section, at first, the cross section starts as a circle, um, but ever so slightly as you bend the rod, the cross section will ovalize. That ovalization will eventually lead uh, to a break. It'll completely collapse. That's when a rod fails. And so our new improved hoop fibers resist that ovalization and create a really strong structure for the new axial fibers to ride on top of. So it's the combination of these two fibers that create our new R8 technology. They help us to de design really lightweight and responsive rods. They can also help us bring strength to rods in certain applications like a saltwater rod where you really need to pull on a fish. Um, and so those are some of the materials that go into our new R8 technology.